Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Wanna you check the cash? Aloy. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they butchered the tribal people we encountered they didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated earth so i concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want mass extinction for their own comfort who thinks like that well without their gaia colonel they'll have a hard time doing that so we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on earth what else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They... Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. How did you escape? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never- Then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Aluthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you were born on the- The Zeniths had an- Ectogenic chamber aboard the sh an updated version of the one you found. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. That wasn't part of the archive. All right. So how long? You know, you're, you're how long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zeniths? 
How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate funk before Guy is powerful enough to absorb- What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Every hey. God. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad. Hmm. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. I just think she talks a lot. You would too. You do everything they want to about. Welcome back. Aloy. I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced. Comparable to Zenith technology. But not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another... Hi, Gaia. Hello, A. I'll be on my way. I wish you...
That makes you want to punch something. More like someone. But you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. Aloy. Hey, thought I'd, uh... You mean, after meeting some, but isn't you? Guess this must... A little? Varl said... Maybe. There is something I... It's about the land gods. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them, so that they'll once again... Gaia gave me a set of instructions. If we deliver it to the land gods... Oh, that's great. It may be. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus... Gaia showed me a way around. We need components called machines similar. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out. So, kill the machines, then use them. If all goes well, we'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I need to get going. May the land... Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodation. Where'd Catalo go? your focus acting up again? That's fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah. This is worth it, but...
time, Milo. You have to wait for an opening. Care to join the hunt? I've got your back. Would cross out here. Sunhawk Talana came Padish. Aloy despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Redma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and now he's missing. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think- But- You're no- Yes, Sunha. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my throat. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west.
His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop me, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but it never came. This is the field where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. But there are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. The mm, pouch is full, but my pack has room. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osiram. It's too many to tell if Amadas is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadas was supposed to be alone. Why were Osiram here? Maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. Taru? What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's Our ask bandage. him. Let me guess. You're straggling. Got left behind when the wagon... Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone. Clothes would have been well-worn. Yes, he was here, poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him, old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned, but others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison, or a Karza graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amadis. Lead on. You mentioned Amadis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. Ready for anything, now? The 
the ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. A shell snapper. He hasn't seen us yet. We can use that. Hawk and thrush, just like old times. Good to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. <laughs> it's a dead end. Looks like a cave in. So what happened to the car caravan? Let's look around. Maybe your second sight can help? <laughs> 